Let's move that way then. Staff Sergeant Marcos Falcons wants his peers in the ANA, the Afghan National Army, to be able to sniff okay. out the enemy. All right, perfect. His means so we'll to success the is the area. wolfhound. It is a very good tool to have, especially for the ANA. Uh, they're growing very fast. So as they grow very fast, we got to give them some capabilities for them to hold for the future. All right. Let's the wolfhound is an alien looking handheld radio frequency threat warning and direction finding system that can give its users an edge. They can not only hear the transmissions, now they will be able to. Uh, at least target them and follow those those radio frequencies. Let me hear it. Falcones is part of TAC Northeast, the training, advise, and assist command assigned to the ANA 201st Corps, charged with keeping security in eastern Afghanistan. Here at Forward Operating Base Gambari, TAC Northeast administers numerous classes in a wide variety of skills, all focused on strengthening the ANA's ability to stand and operate on its own. So what do you got now? A Florida native, Falcones joined the Army eight years ago. He says all his prior experiences, including that as a human, human intelligence collector, are assets he uses to help Afghans make a difference. Right now we're in the middle of all these metal buildings. The so class in Basic Wolfhound runs two weeks, with much of the instruction focused on translating needed expertise to soldiers unfamiliar with technology. But Falcones is an optimist. Okay. His aim is to create a cadre of ANA experts capable of teaching their own soldiers about the earthly merits of the Wolfhound and what it brings to the fight. Let's go that way. Gil McCabe, Afghanistan.